Well, Chris Spielman first made a name for himself on the football field. A high school legend in Maslin, Spielman went on to a Hall of Fame career at Ohio State as well as a Pro Bowl career in the NFL. And while he is still involved in the game as an analyst for ESPN, he has a much bigger role off the field. Since Chris Spielman's high school sweetheart and first wife Stephanie was initially diagnosed with breast cancer in the late 90s through four remissions, her death in 2009 and up to the present, the Spielmans have raised over $15 million to battle the disease. October is Breast Cancer Awareness Month, a time when football at all levels puts time and effort into supporting that cause, often by wearing pink on the field. It's a bittersweet month for Spielman. Well, honestly, um... It's mixed emotions, you know. Obviously, I know that uh, there's still a lot of work, and that's why I do what I do. And my daughter does what she does, and the James Cancer Hospital does what we do. But, uh, you know, I mean, I can't say that I have happy thoughts. I guess what it does is focus me on the mission at hand. And that mission recently brought Spielman to Van Wert, where he delivered a message for those facing difficulties, no matter the stage of cancer or life. I think. You know, one of my jobs is uh, to f speak with folks that are in a similar situation, whether it's cancer or other life challenges. And a lot of times what I've learned uh, when people struggle with certain things, that they, they feel alone or that nobody could possibly understand what they're going through or that nobody can feel what they feel. And so I think uh, we talk about how to address that. but. More importantly, I think hope, hope through a diagnosis in my case, hope through a recurrence in our family's case, and even hope through death. And well, how do we talk about hope? I mean, hope is a big word. Well, in a secular sense, hope is a wish. In a faith-based sense, hope is a promise. That promise of hope found in Jesus Christ has long been an essential part of Spielman, and his family's journey. You look at that and it's easy to say that and you know you want to believe that when you feel so overwhelmed or that you feel like you can't go on that there is a uh, Philippians 4 talks about there is a peace that transcends all understanding and helps you deal with whatever the situation is and I've certainly experienced that uh, although, like Thomas, doubting it many, many times, uh, grace was sufficient in my case, and grace has sustained me. When you're faced with difficult situations, as with, I mean, I've told my children this throughout the, the process, and, and I tell folks this that ask, uh, you either run to God or you run away from God. There's one of the two is going to happen. And uh, fortunately, you know, we chose to run to God, and, and, um, you know, I think one message for people that are struggling or, or somebody in their family or close to them is ready to go home home, uh, that you have to keep an eternal perspective uh, on certain things. And I think one of the things that helped my children deal with that was they had an eternal perspective and understood where Stephanie was going. There were no more tears, no more sickness, no more pain. Uh, no more fear, no more sorrows. And so with that eternal perspective, I think that helps them live a life that I want them to live and certainly well, what Stephanie wanted them to live. 